Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. Well, it's a great life. We're here with Tommy James and the Shop. It sounds like a made up band. Yeah, I know. Right? I mean, I guess they're all technically made up. I was thinking the same thing. This is a poll that we made up in like the Discord from yeah. the Patreon, actually. Like, there, there's like a channel in the Discord called like Poll Suggestions. Yeah. And we like, I built this one with some people there over a course of like time. This is like weeks ago. I've, I've had this poll just like sitting ready to go. It was time to execute. Yeah. If you were and, not on the Discord, you should be on the Discord. Yep. And I was extremely excited to see this song in particular win the poll because it had the coolest name. It does have the cool name. Crystal Blue Persuasion. It's a really cool album cover, it's too. It's just so sick. You see? Yeah. Yeah, it's really yeah, cool. I like it. But so was very, very intrigued and just very excited to hit this group. I never heard of this group really until recently. And so I'm just excited to see what they got. All right. Well, with that being said, let's get right into it. Okay. Good start. Oh, wow. Look over yonder What do you see? The sun is rising Most definitely A new day is coming ooh, ooh. People are changing Right into talking about it. Okay. Rating three, 
two, one, B plus. Okay. Fallen. I feel like I liked that more than my rating would entail. It felt almost like there was like R and B influences. There's so many, so many little aspects of that song that I just appreciate so heavy. I love the, the chords that they mm-hmm. used. I thought it, uh, the atmosphere they brought in and the way it like, all of a sudden like enveloped you was incredibly unique, very, yeah. very cool. As far as that R&B sort of influence, really it was mostly from the chords and it was a lot to do with a lot of the effects on the guitar. Mm-hmm. It almost felt like they were purposely trying to stay away from keys and try to fit, think as, um, as many unique ways to utilize like stringed instruments as possible yeah. to just create that sort of mood. Yeah, it was definitely put together extremely well, and I, I gave it the A just because of how well it was built, structured. Like I felt like there's a lot of thought behind it. I felt like they accomplished exactly what they wanted to accomplish. Yeah. Now I couldn't go higher than the A just from literally personal preference. Like I like harmonies, but I'm not huge on the way they were like implemented here. You know, <sighs> dude, I love the harmonies. Per se. really love them. I thought it was so smooth, and. Like I said, the the whole like R and B feel of it, yeah. which I don't know if that's the right phrasing. I don't know, but but it just felt so cohesive to me of getting that thought across of just this group of people like singing about this happy time. Hated the key change. Oh, really? Yeah, hated it. I borderline think there's maybe four songs I've ever heard that do a key change that I've not hated. I think there's like one Stevie Wonder song that we heard that did a key change where I was like, that was good. But other than that, I almost always feel like it feels forced. Yeah. Like, they try to artificially, like, bring energy to a song. I almost never enjoy it. Sure. I, I didn't, like, feel that here. I didn't even know there was a key change. But yeah. I definitely believe you. But I enjoyed the sound and everything. I, I think just in general, like, I can't I, – I understood at a certain point that I, there's no way I could un, I could appreciate this as much as someone who it's more meant for would, like, appreciate. Yeah. But, like, I respected, like, just the complexity and how it was built. And there were a bunch of sonic little elements that I just, appre- like, really enjoyed. I just don't know if I'll, like, listen to it a bunch you know but it, yeah. it's still like it, it did its thing and it, it, it makes sense i think my, my favorite part of the song was how it ended i did like that like too. the last like 20 bars where they start so. to like speed up it's like a yeah, tempo change yeah. too that oh, felt cool i did get like upset when like uh there was some kind of like, instrumental like build up where it was just like a play between like the guitar and something else for a second and then it kind of like built up into this thing then it, it, it built up to not even the full climax or pinnacle and then it just went into like a repeat of the chorus yeah and i was like wish they did something else yeah. They had some interesting stuff that they didn't I feel like they didn't develop enough. I do love the bass tone though. The oh, bass tone is really good. Yeah. The yeah. way it was like you could you could hear like the tactile like mm-hmm. attack of the fingers on the bass. Yeah. yeah I yeah. thought that was so cool. It's almost old Beatlesy to me. Yeah. Where they have that same sort of tone. And like Paul McCartney's bass playing is like iconic, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I think the use of tone in this song was what I appreciated the most. The Let's song itself was okay, but I really think I just loved the mm-hmm. way they produced all the sounds. It was yeah. super cool. Definitely excited to see what else they have. Like I wonder if they sound like this through all their songs or this is like just one of their flavors. Yeah, it feels like a great band for the era. I'd I would be surprised if they had like a bunch of different sounds through the decades, but I could be totally wrong. Yeah, we'll just have have to see. But definitely down and check them out again. And with that being said, let us know what we need to hit next, and uh, we'll catch you next video. Peace. And if you want to keep hanging out with us here on the YouTube, here's a video that the YouTube algorithm has picked out specifically for you. Go ahead and watch that reaction that you haven't seen yet. And if you want exclusive content you can't get anywhere else, not here on YouTube, go ahead and click this link to Patreon. We have stuff there waiting for you. See you there. Peace.